what's up YouTube, it's Diego here with a second generation battle against uh, one of the best players out there, I'm talking about my friend Jeez, who is going to start this battle with Zapdos, I have uh, Executor and right from the bat he's going to predict my Psychic and send out his Tyranitar, so yeah that's a great prediction for him, but yeah luckily for me on um, this turn he's going to miss his Fire Blast and I will be able to paralyze him with his transport. And now I'm going to switch out with my Cloister, uh, which is going to receive uh, more than what I expected with Fire Blast. But yeah, anyway, here I'm predicting a switch, uh, so I will go with the Spikes. So yeah, I can start racking up some damage on his team. And uh, she is going to send his own Cloister, so here uh, I think that it's safe to go with Subdos, because I know he's either going to go with his own Spikes or Rapid Spin. And he decided to just go for the spikes, so I got the free switch and now I threaten him with thunder, so he's going to send Snorlax to wall me. But yeah, unfortunately for him, I'm going to get the paralysis, uh, which is going to force him to rest earlier. And that, and yeah, here I'm going to just set up a reflect and send Cloister again, which can take physical hits really well, but. Uh, here uh, he reveals that this is a curse lax, so this is a little troublesome for me because as you're going to see here, surf, surf does nothing, uh, he can set up on my face all day, so uh, now taking the opportunity with the reflect up, I'm going to send my steelix because I know I can survive an earthquake, he has that because of the reflect, but he's going to do the rest this turn. So that will enable me to do the war without taking any damage and set the hasty's big threat out of the way. But yeah, uh, Storm is going to be sent out. Uh, I have to switch, fearing the water type move. And I'm going to send Solax, which can take any move from Stormy. And yeah, uh, my opponent is going to take that opportunity to go with the rapid spin. And that's going to be a crucial move later on, and you will see that. So here uh, I'm just going to attack with Body Slam uh, as my opponent is going to send his Subdose. And I will just keep attacking, trying to get Paralysis. Uh, he's going to set up a Reflect. And here I'm going to get a Parahax, which is always great. Because, yeah, Subdose is a huge threat and it's really fast. So having it paralyzed is, is really good. So here I could set up one curse, and uh, now I'm going to attack with Body Slam, but uh, she's going to send his own Snorlax again. Um, here I should decide to stay and set up another curse as he's asleep, so I could uh, start attacking do it and do a little more damage. Uh, you have to remember that the Reflect is still on, so that's why uh, the previous Body Slam did uh, really little. So here he wakes up and also set a curse, as I said another curse, and now that the reflect is gone I'm going to, I will try to attack, but uh, he's going to reveal that he has the lovely keys, so he put my Snorlax to sleep and now uh, he's going to reveal his only attacking move which is double edge, and yeah this Snorlax is becoming a huge threat to my team because he's at plus 2 now I believe and double edge can do a lot of damage so here uh, I don't have any safe switch maybe Steelix but I just going to stay and try to put him to sleep with my own lovely keys on this turn and now that he's asleep I will switch to my Steelix and uh, set the case him out so yeah here we are seeing that he's still asleep and uh, Cloyster is going to be sent out, uh, probably the worst thing that could come in because it can take Steelix hits all day and attack super effectively Surf. So I'm going to switch with Subdose and that was really predictable, so he did one with the Ice Beam and managed to freeze my Subdose which sucks a lot. And now here we just stay trying to defrost and attack with Thunder, but Subdos is going to keep frozen and Sheath is going to be able to take him down. So yeah, that's really good news for Sheath because uh, he has two pokes or three in his team that are weak to Subdos. And now I send out my Executor, he's going to decide to go BOOM on him 
because he knew Exeutor was also a big threat to his team. So yeah, now both Zapdos and Exeutor are down. And I'm going to send my Cloyster, uh, my opponent is going to send Starmie, so I'm going to switch in case he has a Thunderbolt and send Snorlax again because Snorlax can take Starmie's hits for days. So yeah, uh, here we will Psychic here and I'm going to go with Body Slam. As he's going to switch and send out Marowak and unfortunately for him he's going to get a Paralysis. So I will take the opportunity here to go with my Cloister. I know I can take at least one Earthquake, even with the Spikes, and that's the case. He goes for Earthquake and I survive. And here uh, the Explosion is too predictable, so I decide to go with the Surf. Uh, predicting a switch into his Tyranitar, and that is correct, uh, Tyranitar can see takes a super effective hit, but unfortunately uh, that's not going to be enough to do a 2 hit KO, but anyway I will stay, maybe I can get a critical hit with Surf, or he gets a paralyzed this turn, I can take it out later, but that's not going to be the case unfortunately, and um, Tyrant Tire is going to take me down with a Pursuit. So here I will send my Steelix and she's going to play safe with the Earthquake but uh, she's is going to predict that and preserve his Tyrant Tire, send his Subdose uh, which I can't touch with this set, I'm running uh, well, I can but I need to explode so yeah, he's going to just uh, set up a reflect. I'm going to start setting up curses. My plan is to set up and then work him. But he surprises me with the whirlwind and he subjects me out, which is really bad. And Clafable was sent out. Uh, I just started with Fire Blast. Uh, he will tell it back with Thunder. And unfortunately for me, he got the paralysis. So yeah, this Clafable is pretty much useless. Uh, <laughs> Since I built this team, uh, I wasn't able to successfully use Clafable, the idea is to go with the belly drum and sweep, but uh, yeah, it resulted that Clafable is not that good, so yeah, I never had the chance to do that. So yeah, anyway, Marowak is here, uh, with two earthquakes, earthquakes he can take me out, uh, but he's going to switch and send a Starmie on my return and uh, yeah with the Starmie I think it's a uh, 2 hit KO I just will stay and try to do as much damage as possible he's going to start back with Psychic and your return does uh, a good deal of damage but yeah nothing that Starmie can handle because it has to recover and it's, it's really fast so yeah, uh, finally this time is going to take my Clafable out and I'm going to send my Snorlax here and just start attacking with Body Slam but yeah, uh, he's just going to go with the Psychic and uh, it's not even a 2 hit KO thanks to the lefties so here I will just go with uh, another Body Slam and this time is going to go down so now my opponent has uh, 4 pokes left, they are all paralyzed or sleeping and he's going to send uh, Marowak, uh, I'm just going to explode here because yeah, so I was on low health and it couldn't take another hit so that was the best thing I could do so yeah, now uh, only I only have my Steelix here and he has his uh, Tyranitar and Zapdos and yeah, uh, as I said before, uh, with the Steelix I can't do damage to that Zapdos. So the best thing I can do here is to tie the match. If I can take uh, that Snorlax out uh, and then the Tyranitar, the Snorlax, and then exploding on Zapdos. But yeah, uh, as I said before, that rapid spin that he made with Tarmi was uh, vital because uh, even though I'm going to be able to take this Snorlax with uh, the next Earthquake, uh, then he can send all the day his Subdose, and even though I can work him into Tyranitar, he can switch back again, because uh, without the Spikes, 
I'm not going to be able to take uh, the Tyranitar out of the way. So, uh, yeah, now, as you're seeing here, he can switch out. I can't uh, attack that. And this, this will have uh, ended in a PP Star War. So here, Shaft went with Explosion. Boom! And take that Zapdos out of the way. But yeah, unfortunately, my opponent still have his Tyranitar. Leaving with uh, very little HP, but thanks to the rapid spin, it could handle uh, the switch, and uh, that's going to be the game for my opponent. So good game, she's. I really enjoyed this match, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. So as always, don't forget to leave your awesome feedback, and we are seen on the next video. Peace out.